Hey guys, this is Reaper's Reviews. This is our uh, third, third one so far. So, we're trying to do it the best we can. Third review, we're reviewing Savage Skies, a game where you can battle dragons and do all that sort of good stuff and get to battle dragon, rocks, demons, griffins, and rocks, dragons. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I already said that. It says right here, do you have what it takes to control an 80-foot dragon? It kind of sounds like you're being a knight, am I right? Pretty sweet symbol. Anyway, yeah, here's some game graphic images, and I know there's blood and gore in this, for real. But uh, if you want to hear more about game lies, what it says on the cover, again, check out the Jaws review. Um, it says pretty much here... It kind of oversells it with the drama when it comes to, not like the King Kong game, but the, uh, it says, it makes this big explanation about Empire falling and stuff like that. But it explains it like that, so, uh, pretty sweet cover, and it's M, blood and gore, and violence, and stuff like that. So, let's get to gameplay, shall we? All right, this is the best view I can get. Best view I can get, you guys. Sorry. Yeah, I'll just show you a story my mission. Yeah, tweet. You have three uh, classes here. You have Burr Twin. I don't know if you can kind of see their symbol there. Yeah, this. But they're very they're uh, nature people that thrive in the wilderness with dragons waiting to conquer the Pariah. Because uh, the Pariah are mainly the bad guys in here. You get to play as them, but uh, it's not as good, you know. But it, it, it's pretty good. I'm uh, going to Burr Twin. I'm going to choose Rock, because he's got an awesome song. Greetings, warrior. But honestly, this game's not bad in retrospect. But it takes a while to load. Alright, now, I'm going to do some commentary about this. And the reason that is... Well, too bad my friend isn't here. We can't, like, film and... Stuff like that. I'm kind of at my dad's right now. Here we go. Rock and see how the game goes. It's pretty cool because you get to battle airships, and it's more like the. Uh, you get to battle medieval stuff like that, but it's pretty cool. However, the game is very, very difficult because. They throw lots of stuff at you, and you gotta try to defend yourself on site. And honestly, have you ever thought about one of those nerd games where you think, oh, only nerds play that game? This is one of those type of games, right? But well, anyway, you have Sonic Screech, one of those air. Uh, I made my dragon, I made my Alright, let's see. Where you find these idiots? Anyway. What I like best about this game is once you get all the dragons, you get to have an ancient dragon kind of uh, fight. That's what's pretty cool. And you get to fight other dragons in story mode. But the main main thing here is it's pretty cool because you get to control the empire and do all that sort of stuff. But uh, this is pretty much it's pretty cool because. Uh, like I said, you get to battle stuff and take it airborne and stuff like that. I'm gonna make this one a little bit longer than the regular ones since you know. The pariah have unleashed Cormags. Yeah, the I know. All but defenseless against them. Anyway, yeah, it's pretty cool here because you get to battle a bunch of all. See, look, there was a dragon that just flew past me. But it, it's bad in the retrospect that it says. No cheats. Like, I, as soon as I got this thing, I was pretty much done with it after, like, this mission. Because, uh, 
I wanted all the dragon, and I just wanted to rule and kill everybody in my sights. But that that's what sucks. There's no freaking cheats for all dragons. It says mainly to unlock all dragons, please complete every story with your freaking first one, Persistless and Pariah. Duh, any any idiot could have figured that out. Genius. Anyway, it's pretty cool. You can shoot the battle like this. The bad stuff is, I mean, the graphics are pretty cool. But you gotta hand it to it. It's pretty good for a uh, 2001 game. But this this game is cool in the retrospect. You get to fight people. However, it's not one of my personal favorites. I prefer Area 51 and Jaws. Even probably, well, I prefer this over Jaws any day. But I prefer Area 51 or a King Kong Battlefront over this. But pretty much the point I'm trying to get at is this game is pretty good, it's okay, the difficulty needs to be evened out, and, I mean, it, it's generic sound, I give it three stars off the sound quality, we're not actually starting scales off this, it might be too anyway, I think I should go, and what I'm gonna give this game, I'm gonna give this game maybe two and a half, no, I'm gonna give it three stars, because, it's really cool, you get to battle all the dragons and crush them and other stuff and blood and gore and take control of the empire. But like I said, it's it's a pretty good game. Alright, this has been our third video review. Go to reapersreviews.webs.com or watch our other two uh, video reviews, Reapers Reviews. We also are on Facebook too, or check out our site or do whatever you need to contact us. Alright, bye.